Hi everyone. So today's agenda is learning how can you create, deploy, retrieve LWC components. In short, work or work on LWC components without using Visual Studio. So let's quickly see how can you do that. So first of all, you can see that uh, this is a quick action that I've made, and on the click of that quick action, I am able to open a Lightning Web component that I've created. Now, without using Visual Studio Code, I want to retrieve the code of this uh, particular L LWC component and make changes and deploy it. So let's see how can you do that. So for that, what you need to do is on Google, just write Lightning Studio extension. Here you have that extension. All you need to do is add this extension to your Chrome. So you see now this extension is added to my Chrome. Now what I need to do is Here I'll go to the extensions and you will see Lightning Studio over here. So I just have to click on that. Let me see if you guys are able to see that on my screen. Okay, the moment I clicked on that uh, extension that I had downloaded or added to my Chrome, I see the Lightning Studio has opened here. Now, with the name of the component, so by the way, yeah, when you open this component, right, what happens is all the Lightning Web components that you have in your all comes over here. They are retrieved automatically. So the component's name was this, tab component one. Now let's say I'm adding a text over here. The moment I did control S or you could even do it from here, you will see deployment con confirmation. So if I deploy it, you see the changes are deployed. Now let's go to our org. Now I click on tab one. You see, my changes are deployed to this org. Now what are the differences between the Visual Studio code and over here? So here, like you see, whenever I was saving the code over here, it was directly getting deployed to the org, but that does not happen in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio code, you write some code and you save it. It gets saved locally in your desktop, right? It doesn't get deployed to the Salesforce org until and unless you do it. But over here, when you save it, it gets deployed. So if you want to work some on something which is done locally, then it's not possible over here. Secondly, whenever you open the, uh, you know, Lightning Studio, it retrieves fresh set of code every time that you open it. However, that does not happen in Visual Studio code. Even you have saved something in the Visual Studio code, you close it and then open for the next time. You will see that set of code in your Visual Studio code, right? So that's not possible over here. Secondly, uh, how to create a new Lightning uh, Web component. So there's an advantage over here. You get to create a new Lightning Web component name. Let's say I create a component called component one. Now in the JS meta file, you need to show is exposed and everything, right? So here you just have to check a checkbox and then where all do you want to use this particular lightning component? I say record page tab and uh, let's say quick action. And that's it that I have to do. And you will notice that when I do a deploy, 
it will deploy that component as well as open it here. So when I go to that component, right, you see, these all things got auto configured. Also, you can create a new uh, Apex class if you want from here. Uh, other things are you can uh, download the component backup. So let's say if I've downloaded any of the component over here, it would be downloaded as a zip file. Uh, I'll show you one. Like you see here, I had downloaded one of the component over here. So it got downloaded as a zip file. And inside that, I have that component, which I could unzip and then use it. Okay. Uh, other thing is, you could also compare your code over here, which is a good thing. You could format your JSON over here. This is a JSON formatter and validator. So yeah, these are some of the features that you get in your Lightning Studio. And this is how you could work on a Lightning Web Component without installing, downloading Visual Studio. So if this video helped, please like, share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon because that would help you get all the notifications, all the new videos that I come up. Thank you.